We will solve the following exercise. The exercise is a number 2.12. The rope ABC exerts forces FBA and FBC of equal magnitude on the block at B. The magnitude of the total force exerted on the block by the two forces is 200 pounds. Graphically determine FBA. Okay, so right here I have the points A, B, A, and C. Right here I have C, right here I have A, and right here I have B. You are telling me that there is two forces that are exerted on the point on the block at B, and they are giving me the magnitude of the summatory of these two, and they are asking for me to find the value of FBA. All right, so I'm gonna create, or first I wanna explain what is happening here. For when I have, for example, three vectors, I don't know, like these ones, and I want to create the summatory of them, graphically speaking, what I have to do is to comply one requirement, okay? And that requirement that I have to meet is that I have to construct a resultant vector. So I have to, to move one of the vectors, as I just did, touching tail with head with one of the other two vectors in this case. And the same goes for this one, tail with head. And the result will be the connection between these two points. But this vector, this resultant vector, is going to be generated the other way around. The tail must be touching the tail and the head the head. Alright? If I would have something like this, another vector, then I would just do the same thing. The answer will be this one. Remember that the order of the vectors does not is not important. The answer will be the same. Right? For example, if I want to create something like this, the answer will be the same. I just have to meet the requirement that I just that I, that I just said, right? And in this case, the result will be this one. So, if they are telling me that the summatory between FBC, which is this one, and FBA, which is this one, is equal to 200, well, that means that this vector has a magnitude of 200, in this case, pounds, but I don't really care about the unit system right now. So, right here I have FBA. And right here I have FBC. So what's left is to write down the information that I have right here. They're telling me that I have an angle of 20 degrees with respect of our horizontal line. For when I talk about the FBC vector, right? So right here I have 20 degrees. And I just have to find these two. But there is also one statement that is pretty important and is that the rope ABC exerts forces FBN and FBC of equal magnitude, okay? Equal magnitude. That means that FBC is equal to FBA. And because of it, because I want to simplify this notation, I'm just going to call it F. Right? So I just have to find the value of F. Because you're asking me to find FBA. FBA is equal to FBC, and I say that this is equal to F, right? So, what I have to do is to start creating, or at least to find one of the angles. So, what I'm going to do is to create a vertical line. Imagine that this is vertical. And right here I have a 90 degree angle. So, this angle right here is going to be equal to 90 minus 20, right? So, this is equal to 70 degrees. I Once I have this value, I can say that this angle is exactly the same, right? So, I have this angle, which is 70. So, as you can see, I have one angle, one magnitude, and I need to know these two values. So, I cannot start using trigonometrical identities like cosine or sine, because remember that for you to 
use that kind of equations you have to have a 90 degree angle within the triangle alright so you can start using for example for example the sine because the sine of a respective angle in this case uh, this is just an example theta is going to depend of one of the catheters catheters divided by the hypotenuse alright so since I don't know if I have maybe right here or right here a 90 degrees angle then I have to start using either the sine's law or the cosine's law, right? I already know that I have to use the cosine's law because I just have one magnitude and one angle. Although, let's imagine that I don't know that, right? So, for example, I'm going to start using the cosine's law. So, for you, when you want to create the cosine's law, the, the sine's law, sorry, you have to take into account uh, equivalence, the equivalence between the magnitude and the opposite angle of that magnitude. All right, right here I have the magnitude and the opposite side, uh, the opposite angle would be 70. This is going to be equal to F divided by this angle. In this case, I'm going to take into account this F. And I'm going to call, for example, this angle alpha and this angle beta alright so since I'm talking about this magnitude then I have to take into account this angle so that would be the sine of 20 plus alpha and this is going to be equal to now I'm taking into account this magnitude and this angle the opposite one the sine of beta alright so as you can see right here I have one equation well, actually, I have like two equations right here, one and two. But right here, I have one, two, and three incognitas. Two, three unknowns, all right? So what I can do is that I have to either get another equation for me to solve these angles, or I can discard the sine's law, right? And I'm going to use the cosine's law. So bear with me for while I create the equation and then I explain what, what I'm doing right now. So 200 squared is equal to F squared plus F squared minus 2 times F times F multiplied by the cosine of 70. All right, for you want to want for when you want to create the cosine's law with respect of one magnitude, then you have to take into account the other two catheters and the opposite angle. All right, so this 200 square, and this is just an equation that I've memorized, is going to be equal to one of the catheters evaluated to a second power uh, plus one of plus the other catheters evaluated to a second power minus two times one catheters times the other multiplied by the cosine of the opposite angle All right I've memorized it uh, that is one way in which you can know this or maybe if you don't know it and you have the chance to look for it there is of course that information on the internet right then what I'm going to do is to solve this equation for this incognita right because I have one equation and one incognita so right here I can say that I have 200 square is equal to f 2 times f square minus 2 times f square but this is multiplied by the cosine of 70 then I'm going to regroup this f and bear with me while I do that and then I explain what I did right f square multiplied by 2 minus 2 times cosine of 70 and that's all so as you can see I have to take out these two f's outside of the of this subtraction and then as you can see if I multiply f squared by these two I have this and if I multiply this by this I have this 
right so everything looks nice and I just have to find the value of f so I'm gonna send this part to divide the other part of the equation 70 and this is equal to f square but I need just f so I'm gonna apply the square root to it I'm gonna write this in the calculator so bear with me square root of 200 squared divided by 2 minus 2 cosine I have to make sure that I'm using degrees of 70 and as you can see right here this is equal to 174.3446 this is pounds and this is the same answer as having as I just said before F A B F B A and F B C right this is the magnitude of of those all right there is one way in which we can check that this answer is correct and this is by using a software in this case I'm gonna use SolidWorks so uh, bear with me I do not have I do not have any tutorials of this tool within the channel I just have tutorials about Cadillac 5 but this is a tool that uh, could be compared to Cadillac 5 right so bear with me I just have to create the the shape so this would look something like this I just have to define okay this is not the, the one that I need but it's this one and I'm going to create a line right here 200 that is for construction purposes and I'm going to say that right here I have an angle of 20 degrees Twenty, and then what's left is to choose these two lines and say that they're equal exactly the same all right as you can see everything is defined since everything is in color black so that means that I cannot move really anything and I just have to measure this as you can see this is equal to this and the answer is the one that we get before 174.34 as you can see right here well that's all guys this is how you could solve you could have solved this exercise and uh, that's it